Hey guys, hey, this is Troy McKnight. Welcome to my Facebook Live today. I'm actually here. I got a friend of mine, Lima. We actually gonna talk about, you know, being an entrepreneur. She got an awesome book that uh, uh, I just actually dove into. I actually picked it up. You know how sometimes you pick a book up and you can't put it down? Actually, me and her was in a, in a company together. And while we was in that company, she actually hit one of the top positions. Uh, she's been an entrepreneur for the past 20 years, been teaching, you know, giving people strategies and stuff like that on how to build a traditional business, but also a business in the network marketing industry. So, Lima, are you there? Something happened. I hope she can uh, pop back in. So give me a, a couple of seconds, guys, while we go through this. She should be popping back in in a minute. Uh, here she go right now. We for the action. All right. Here we go. There we go. Yeah. All right. Well, Lima, I just brought you on. Hey, you just went off again. Pop back in again. Something happened where you just popped off. Are you there? Hold on, guys. We're going to get this straight. You know, technology. Sometimes, man, when you got like an awesome guest, you got somebody fit to bring the fire, somebody fit to really expire you. Seems like something just kind of happened every once in a while. But hey, this is like, this is what it is, guys. This is reality TV at its best. You know, a lot of times people try to have stuff where it's so perfect. Man, you got to just take the action and actually do it to make it happen. So hold on for just a second. Let me give her a call real fast because it's going to be, this is going to be one that you most definitely do not want to miss today. So let me give her a call to get this right here straight, what we got going on. And uh, give me one second, guys. So, yeah, hit your camera. I don't know what happened. Here we go. Uh, oh, there you go. There we go. Okay, I got her, guys. We can see that's what I'm talking about. Technology it tries to stop when you got somebody uh, that's gonna bring a lot of you know inspiration. <laughs> we did it again. Hey, hey, Lima, can you see me? Or if you can hear me, do what you just did before we can get you back on again. Let me try this one more time, guys. Sorry about this. This is gonna be a good one. This is most definitely gonna be one you stay you stay in, involved in. You most definitely want to tune into this one when we get this uh be life thing to work like it's supposed to work. Hey, hey Lima. Yeah, now I just see I see blue. I see blue now. You know what? Just I'm gonna log you out and then go back and hit the link again. Just start all over from the beginning again. I'm fit to do that, and then just I'm gonna stay on the phone with you while you do. Are you on your computer or your cell phone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go back, go back through it and just hit the link again that I sent you. Guys, this is one. This is what I'm talking about. This reality TV at its best. But I'm telling you guys, you most definitely want to hear from this lady right here. I mean, she's uh, we're going to share some really good tips with you guys today. If you're looking to actually start a traditional business or a network marketing business, this is one you most definitely want to be on. So hold on. Let me see. Can I bring her in? Here we go. I'm going to hang up. Can you hear me, Lima? I can. Can you hear me? Yeah, we finally got it, guys. But anyway, yes, I just sir. So rock star like i said i told him a little bit about you told him told him that you was actually involved in a company we was involved in together you went to a position before the top position you was able to make a strong six-figure income in that business but not only that you built a business you know in different areas of the united states but you even built a business in another country that's powerful within itself uh you started out you know very young as an entrepreneur traditional business you know Went to school, got out, opened up an internet cafe. And I'm going to let you share the story. I'm not going to go all the way into details. I don't want to tell your whole story. It's powerful because, guys, now you must get her book, no doubt. I've actually picked this book up. She sent it to me. I can't even put it down. This is a good book. So if you aspire to actually start a business, work for yourself, I don't care if it's a traditional business or network marketing business, you must grab this book. The website is down on the end. So, Lima, take it away. Hey, Troy. Thank you for having me. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited you've joined us. Troy, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for being such an amazing and powerful coach and trainer. I follow you and I'm, I always get so excited when I hear from you. So I'm really happy to be here today. Thank you for all the wonderful things that you've said about me. Yes, I've always worked really hard. I've always believed that I needed to be extraordinary and not just ordinary. And I've met a lot of people along the way that have encouraged me and pushed me and that I, I get to work with. And also people that, you know, I've been blessed to lift up and train and coach. 
so that we can all be the best versions of who we are. And sometimes it just boils down to, you know, knowing what you want. I'm from Cameroon in West Africa, and I, I am the first of seven children. So I always grew up with um, knowing that I needed to work really hard. And I grew up in a part of the world where every little opportunity that we get, we always, you know, go for it. We push, we make things work. So I started working hard, like you said, at a very early age. And growing up in Cameroon um, really helped me to, to figure, to know what I was made of or what I am made of because I come from a part of the world where we work hard, we push hard, like I said, and I've been able to carry that forward. So when I came to the United States, it was the same spirit of pushing ourselves and you know making things work and business was where i have always really been able to shine and i've always been able to help myself overcome um hurdles you know i really push myself and i make myself go for you know my goals so that's why i'm so happy to be here so that we can share this information and hopefully inspire and impact everybody that's going to be joining us today most well, definitely and Lima, i was looking down a while ago i was trying to tag you but if so if you want to look on your facebook on your wife on your phone you can share it it wouldn't let me tag you for some reason that's why i was looking down guys i was trying to tag her because she got people in her country and other places that actually want to see this and so mm -hmm. let me just you know, sure. You know, after you do that, I talk while you try, while you tag it, where you share, where it shares on your Facebook page. And I want you to, guys, to think about that. She actually came from another country. She actually started her first business over there. And then she came to the states and she started a business. And then from there, we're gonna go into like how she got involved in network marketing and how she was able to create a successful business in that environment. Right now, she got a book. She do coaching. She do mentorship where she teach other people and inspire other people to actually go after their dreams and stuff by building a business. It don't matter what type of business. I don't know who, who our audience is today. I know most of the people that tune in, uh, you know, my lives are either in uh, network marketing, online marketing. Some of, some of you guys might be thinking about starting a business. This is most definitely why you want to tune all the way into this because she's going to drop some really, really good nuggets on you guys today. So Lima, tell us when you finish that, tell us a little bit about, you know, your first business venture. Yes, yeah, so um, I started, you know, when I left college and there, there were job opportunities, but there were not that many job opportunities out there. And I, I found out that I couldn't wait around for somebody to offer me, you know, bread. You know, I couldn't wait around for somebody to call me up. Yeah, we're going to come in for an interview and then take time to decide if they would give me the job. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to start up a business. I was, I think about 23, 24 when I made that decision to start up a business because I wanted to take control of my financial situation. I felt like if other people could start up businesses and make it work, I could do it as well. And I couldn't wait around. I think for somebody to offer me what i felt like i deserved i found like i felt like i needed to work hard and go for my dreams and so that's why i started that business it wasn't easy raising capital it wasn't easy starting from small back home in africa where you know every little franc or every little dollar you know our currency is the franc matters and but i was able to push through because that's really what i wanted to do and that's just an encouragement for everybody as well that in so far as it's something you want to do and you are determined to find a way you will find a way to make it work that's so that's how i started my first business you know at 23 or 24 years old that's powerful and, and the thing about it is when you started your first business i know you got in front of a trend and that was like an internet cafe back home, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And you started small, and I read your book. Your sister helped you out with it. Oh and my! <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. You're so right. And my sister is in Sweden today. So you know, in business, we always say timing is everything, right? Timing in everything, and so it's everything. And sometimes it may be a timing of a trend, 
or sometimes it may be the a timing in your own life. You may be at a point where you know that this is the time to break off and do your thing. Or you may be sitting on a trend and we, we are right now where so much is changing around the world. There are so many, how people do business is changing, how people consume products is, cha is changing. And that's why businesses like network marketing, you know, we have to pay close attention to them. And in my book, I actually dedicated a whole chapter to network marketing because the way we consume is different. But that, at the time when I started my business, there was a trend as well. And that was the internet. The internet was just you know that was the early uh 2000s so the internet was just you know coming into africa we were beginning to learn about the world wide web you know where you could actually have an email address like imagine <laughs> troy you know somebody back in cameroon has an email address and you're out here in new york and you have an email address and you guys can just type and you know he and that person receives that email before it would be months and months you know to communicate so that was a trend at the time and i went in front of that you know some of us got in front of that trend and actually made it work for us i mean that's powerful within itself i mean really it is i remember you know when me and lisa first got our first computer and one of our cousins was in the uh, military and he was in another part of the world and we were sending emails back and forward and we thought that was so amazing. It yes. was just like, so, mm -hmm. so you started out with that and then you mm -hmm. came to the States. I know you're in Atlanta now. And mm -hmm. what was your, what was it like when you first came here? What did you do? Did you start a business? Did you get a job? Yeah. So, you know, that business did pretty good. Like I, like we talk about in the book, it was not easy because we have power outages and, you know, the internet, you remember dialogue. So actually I learned from there, from, from that point that there will always be obstacles and there will always be hurdles, but you need to be able to make it through that because at the end of the day, your business will work mm -hmm. if you make it work. So when I came um, to the United States, you know, uh, I, I mean, when I came, I actually thought that maybe I was going to get find a job. Yeah. So I tried, worked at the doctor's office, you know, said, well, I'll go become a pharmacy uh, tech. You know, I tried all of that, but I still found myself going back towards business ownership. And so I worked at, um, I worked, and when I came, I worked certain businesses in certain businesses. One of those was a tax firm. And I worked with that guy for years and years. I ended up, ended up managing his business for him. And after a few years, I told him, uh, after some years, I told him that I needed to leave. I couldn't work, I couldn't continue on there because there was so much going on. You know, I still, it was, it still got, to, it, it still, bordered or it still came down to me not being comfortable working for somebody else because I was running his business and pretty much it depend there was so much that I was doing but I couldn't work for somebody else so you see business ownership I don't know if is it a mindset is it programming is it you not wanting to settle you know, is it you wanting to push yourself? So it's just something and you know that, you know, you've, you've been in, in, in business yourself. So that's really how I found myself. And I, and I decided to honor what my heart was telling me that I needed to go back into business ownership. And that's how I found myself back, you know, starting my own businesses. So I know you own your own tax business. So when you went from working for you know a tax firm and then you started your own tax business. Mm -hmm. I mean, see, I mean, what it is, this Lima. It, I mean, entrepreneurship. It is a mindset, and yes. you know, entrepreneurs like yourself and myself, and maybe some you know people out here looking at this. Once you get the the power of actually being able to create your own income, and you know you worth 
a lot and you know your self-worth that you can create your own cash flow it's mm -hmm. hard to actually go settle and work for somebody mm -hmm. you know uh, uh you know a little bit about my story i actually been in the network marketing industry for 17 years mm -hmm. i remember getting that first taste of like man i can create my own money mm -hmm. and it's really hard when you uh actually go to work for somebody even though now me and lima we don't want you guys to get confused if you open your own business network marketing traditional business whatever type of business it is it's hard work it's just like anything else, but I'd rather work hard for myself than mm -hmm. to work hard for somebody else. Mm -hmm. that, that's just me personally. Uh, mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about how did you get involved in network marketing? How did you become a rock star in the company we was in? <laughs> ah, thank you and congratulations on 17 years in network marketing. That's what we call leadership consistency and doing what you need to do. And for me, when, you know, I had heard about network marketing. You know, we we all know about you know companies that you know are names, household names. So I had heard, I had tried a few, but they didn't work work out. But for this particular company that you and I were involved in, what really attracted it to me was the products. And so but when i started before i started in network marketing i already had my traditional business and so when i when when that opportunity came to me and i looked at the product and i saw that it was a product that people would actually need and it was a product that i needed myself i decided you know what i need to do this because the thing about business is that when you actually get to the base of business ownership most people think that it's complicated but i don't think it is if you get to the base of business ownership which is providing a service and a product that people will consume with or without you right and that you would consume whether you're offering that product or you're not offering it so that's the base and then now you decide to place yourself at a position where when somebody consumes that product you get paid right so you've positioned yourself and then now you go from positioning yourself to actually making sure that as many people as possible consume that product so that you get as much money as possible so that's really the base the base of every business and what i loved about network marketing was that your effort does not depend just on you. It depends on if you can be successful in the business and then duplicate yourself. Everybody wants to be successful, right? So we've already gotten to the point where people consume the product. So right now, how are you going to be successful and then show others how to be successful so that they become a part of your network? It's like building a house every business is like building a house you know you want you have a product you get the product out there you get as many people so some people like to build just one um ranch homes some people want to build two level homes you know when i got involved in network marketing i wanted to make it big so like you said i made it to one of the top co uh, positions so that means i be i built what how many levels many levels of because that was what i wanted to do with that product so that's how i look at business i really simplify it you know and lisa says it then leverage i simplify it and then I look at myself as a company, you know, that wants to help other people. And I get into the business of building that business. And that's how I build my tax firm as well. I mean, Rima, that's that's powerful. You said a few key points there, and I want people to really take away. You talked about a product, a product that people are gonna buy no matter what, even if you're involved in it or not. Mm -hmm. I mean, both of us was in that company, and I know you have family in other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, that company exploded because of the product. It had a product where people can communicate with people all over the world. And see, yes. it was way before these right here, right? Mm -hmm. and then another thing you talked about was like building a company with inside a company. I think mm -hmm. a lot of times when people get involved in network marketing, they don't truly understand that. That, yeah, you might be a part of ABC company, right? But mm -hmm. you got to look at your company, like yourself and your business, like it's a company with inside of that company. 
because you're building your company, you're building yes. your company, you're building all yes. that. So, like me, I'm a part of a company right now. Every company I get a part of, it's always T McKnight Enterprise. That's, that, yes. you know, that's the name of my company. It's mm -hmm. got a tax ID, LLC, and all of that, right? So, I'm building mm -hmm. a company inside of that company mm -hmm. because the face of my company is actually me. Me and Lisa, we the brand. We we brand our company, right? People follow us. And also, you talked about the power of actually building a team and building other people. I think a lot of times when people get inside of, of, of network marketing, they don't understand that it is all about leadership. It's all yes. about building and inspiring other people because the more people you can build, the more leaders you can develop, the faster you can actually get to where you're trying to get. And the unique thing about our industry that you know you can get somebody involved and they can actually make more money than you. Mm -hmm. I mean, and that ain't too, that ain't heard of in nothing else. I don't think. I don't think it's no other business concept that you can actually get a person involved and mm -hmm. they can move past you. The one thing about it is, I know when you was in network marketing, and I sit back and I watch the team you was on, and I watch the team I was on, and I saw the team that you was on. You guys was on actually the fastest growing team in the whole company. <laughs> and I think it all started with like leadership. The two guys that left yes. the company and they just kind of tripled yes. down. And, yes. and I know, you know, one yes. of the key factors is that, you know, them guys did the work. They And, you know, the people you was involved with, your team, they did the work just like they saw you do the work. Yes. They didn't see you go into like a management mode trying to tell people what to do or, you know, saying, hey, come on, guys, <laughs> come on. They saw Lima out there building her business, right, mm -hmm. your company, and it inspired them to build that company. Is that kind of yes. the way it worked, Lima? Yes, that is absolutely how it works. It was and think about yourself as well what inspired you what inspires what inspires us is to see other people succeed and that's why network marketing blew me out of my mind because i saw people like me making tons of money and i asked myself why can that not be me you know if the system works for a it will work for me as well and that's where the leadership comes in but you said something that is very key and I and I really tell everybody, I wish everybody would understand the power of getting, of being with the right people and the power of training. You know, when you talked about we were, and your, 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 your team was also, your group, the group you were a part of grew, ours grew and exploded, like you said, because of leadership. But that was because of the training that our leaders gave us. And also when we saw them succeed, we knew that we also could be that successful. So business, there is a part, and that's why I wrote this book, so that people would understand that business is not just like, I need to have an idea and, and I just need to go and sell products or I'll sell. The training and the mentoring and the leadership matters a great deal because somebody has to show you the ropes. Somebody has to tell you that, you know what, you need to, you, this is how to get products. This is, you know, this is how you can get your products out there. This is how you can get people to listen to you. This is how you can get to the next level of the compensation plan. This is how you can train others to get to the next level of the comp of the compensation plans. Because if everybody is experiencing success, you are experiencing success. So most people feel like, oh well, um, I'm, I, I I have a brain. You know, I can I can I can do a business. I can register a business and become an entrepreneur. But I'm sorry, just like a doctor needs to be trained to become a doctor and an educator needs to be trained to become a good teacher if you want to be a successful entrepreneur you need training and mentorship from the right people and that's what blew us off the map in five links because we had sorry i just said it okay. <laughs> with that company because we had the leadership was so powerful that we ourselves needed to be powerful, uh, uh, powerful. And that's why I dedicate so much of my time, you know, because I don't know about like you guys, the United States, but back home, you know, leadership training is not very common, you know, but I just wish people knew that leadership training is needed, you know, as an entrepreneur, you know, so that you can learn, you know, how to become successful yourself.
I think one of the key factors of it is when people get in network marketing, they don't understand that part, that it all rises and falls from leadership. You know, we was involved in a company and even from the owners, you know, the, the owners in that company was very hungry. And that's why they was able to attract yes. the leaders. They was able to attract the leaders that or your team. They wouldn't have been able to attract them guys if they weren't hungry because there's yeah. a leader and you know what you can do. You can create seven figure money earners, strong six figure yeah. money earners. You know, they got to believe in the leadership of the company, too. So everything rises and falls on leadership. That's one of the things that I always teach. You can have the you can have an awesome product or service. Right. But if the leadership is not there, you're never going to get it in the marketplace because every, you know, people just follow leaders. And one thing about leaders, just like yourself, now you do coaching and, you know, training and stuff. You got books. I mean, this is an awesome book. If you guys, you need to get it. Her website down at the end, at the bottom floor down there. If you're not following Lima, you most definitely want to send her a friend request, follow her. I mean, she's the most, she's a powerful woman. She want to inspire other people. But everything truly do raise, you know, uh, rise and fall on leadership. And as leaders, just like yourself, you study investing in yourself because yeah. you got to constantly keep growing. It's a new app that's called Clubhouse. And I'm always in that Clubhouse like crazy. And I have it planned next to me. And I listen to these seven and eight and six figure money earners that's in the network marketing industry. And then I go listen to some other guys that ain't even in network marketing because I'm constantly learning yes. on how to become a better leader myself. And that's one thing because, you know, <clears throat> that's just like you, Lima. If somebody tried to recruit you, and I know you're not doing network marketing no more, I tried to recruit you. <laughs> that's how we ended up on this uh, on this thing right here together. But hey, guess what? If uh, if you don't try, nothing happens, <laughs> right? I you're mean, all right. <laughs> so many people get so intimidated of actually reaching out to people they know that was successful, you know, years ago or not long ago in the business, and them the people you want to reach out to. Now I'm giving you guys some tips that's in, involved in the industry. Because just like Lima and people of her status, she's got influence, guys. So if she saw opportunity and she's not open to, for opportunity, so don't start hitting her up with that type of stuff. But if you went out and, and attracted somebody like her, she would be able to build a business fast because she got influence. She already did it once and her leadership is strong and people will follow her. Not to say, you know, I was when I first got in the industry, Lima, I was very, very shy quiet to myself you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. network marketing has helped me as a person grow to become yes. a person in a leadership what people see today this wasn't me three years ago you know mm -hmm. and i always tell people as you see me today right now today uh february whatever date this is guess what by june i'll be a different person again because i keep stretching myself I yes and i keep positioning myself around people that's way smarter than me i keep positioning myself around people that's gonna do stuff on a whole nother level and that's why that team exploded that you was a part of because yes. of leadership and they kept growing themselves so they was able to develop leaders and stuff so lima uh we're gonna wrap this up in a minute but what i want to do is i want to make sure if you guys don't get this book you got to get this book. You got to get your hands on the book. They go to the website on the end. Lima, so that's let's leave it this way. So if a person was looking, we'll start with traditional business. Let's say if a person was looking to start a traditional business and, you know, they had an ideal and stuff and they was trying to put it all together. That's another reason why you need to get this book. That's yeah. What, what kind of tips could you leave with that person? I would say think about what you are good at. Think about what you're good at doing and also think about a product or service that people will actually pay for. Yes, actually, I look at business like instead of going to work a job, you want to do a business and people go to work a job because they have to, they want to make money. That's just the truth at the end of the day. And for you to be in business for a long time, you have to make money. So look for a product, look for look think about what you love to do and that you're good at and think about what people will pay you for and that can be a tip on what type of business you could start wow so wow. now we'll wrap it up if a person looking to get involved in network marketing or now let's just say if a person in network marketing they right now in network marketing they kind of stuck they struggling a little bit they want to get to like just a five-figure income and then just really build a successful team Give them one tip that can help them maybe get unstuck and actually take their business to the next level. I would say this. I I love network marketing. I, I believe that network marketing changed my life. I think that had I not gotten involved in network marketing and taken it seriously, I would not have experienced as much success as I continue to experience today. And that, and I still go back to the fact that I dedicated a whole chapter to break it down, to break down what network marketing is. 
So if people understood, and once you understand network marketing, you can actually use it to build your order. You can use the principles. You know, it's like a business model. You can use the models in network marketing to succeed in other things that you do. So if somebody is involved in network marketing, I would say understand the system. I think that the reason why most people do not succeed or that they don't do well in network marketing is because they really don't understand how that model works. I think understand the 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 pick the same like what we said before choose a product that you're passionate about and that other people will be passionate about get involved with that company understand the model how it works how you can make sure it works for you follow that system and then don't don't settle don't just go to try go in it to succeed i always say once a winner if you can win if you can push yourself to win big one time you will find yourself winning big in every, it will become they say success is a lifestyle it will become a lifestyle so if you're involved in network marketing i want to tell you this i am a fan of yours and if there's a product that you're involved with inbox me i'll take a look at it if i need those products i'll become your customers so i really want to encourage everybody you know out here that is business minded and that's that you can either go with um start your own business or you can get involved in network marketing either way make it work for you and nobody's gonna come do the work for you do the work and then tap into the trainings tap into the trainings once you understand it once you get it you'll be more willing to do whatever it takes to succeed that's powerful <laughs> and you hit a point Nobody gonna do the work for you. It's called network marketing. Network, you that work in there. You got to put in the work, and also you got to network, guys. You got to build relationships because it's all about relationships. Yes. Just like me and Emma, we're friends now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, hey, I might have a service, or she might have some kind of way that she can help me. Maybe you know, in the future, I'd be like, hey, Lima, can you do a training for me for my yes. team? You know, guys, and like I said, she's in the coaching and stuff like that. So if you're looking for somebody maybe to help you take your business to the next level, share some ideas and stuff with you, strategies, make sure you actually reach out to her. But I'm going to say it again. Make sure you guys grab this book. I'm telling you, this book is awesome. I don't care if you in network marketing. I don't care if you're looking to uh, start a traditional business. This is the book that will give you an outline on how to set all that up and be very successful. And like she said, once you win in network marketing, you can win in every in anything. I've seen so many people become in our industry and then decide they didn't want to do it no more. You know, like when we was in Five Links and they broke off into other traditional businesses and they became very successful in the business. Yes. I've seen people become very successful in corporate America because of yes. the knowledge and the skills that they learned in network marketing. So yes. this is a great industry, but it's all about, you know, I said it's a business of self-development, guys. Everything revolves around leadership. So me and Lima, we want to thank you guys for taking time looking at this. Like I said, if you guys not connected with her, send her a friend request on uh, Facebook. Actually, and if you got an awesome product that she can use our service, yeah. hey, send her a friend request and uh, tell her about it. And, you know, she says she'll support you. And I know for a fact that she will. With that, guys, God bless. You guys have an awesome uh, Tuesday. And I'll see you guys later tomorrow. Lima, thanks. thanks.